My name is Sarah. I'm a Child Life Specialist at Marquette General Hospital. My job is to make things as easy as possible for kids when they're here. During this video, I'll tell you about the people you'll meet and show you some of the things you'll see when you're coming here for the hospital for surgery. The first thing you should know is that your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, or whomever brings you to the hospital will be close by. Let's talk about what happens when you get here. Someone from the hospital will call your mom, dad, or other grown-up to tell them what time to come to the hospital. When we call, we will also ask questions about you and how you're feeling for surgery. You will hear these questions again when you are at the hospital. This helps us to take the very best care of you. When we call, we will also remind you that it is very important to have an empty stomach before your surgery. That means you cannot have anything to eat or even drink. That means even water or gum. So remember when you brush your teeth, be careful not to swallow any toothpaste or water. The night before your surgery, take a bath or shower before you go to bed. If you are wearing nail polish, it is a good idea to remove it before you come to the hospital. After a good night's sleep, you will come to Marquette General Hospital. Remember to pack your favorite blanket, stuffed animal, or book. You will start on the fifth floor. You and the grown-up you are with will start by getting registered. The grown-up you are with will get a bracelet that says your name on it. You will get one too. This will let everyone know your name and who your doctor is. After checking in, you and the grown-ups you are with will wait in the waiting room. There are books to look at and toys to play with. There is also a TV to watch. When it is your turn, your first job will be to get ready for surgery. A nurse will talk to you and the grown-ups you are with. The nurse will also check to see how your body is working. The nurse will check to see how much you weigh and how tall you are. Check your temperature and listen to your heartbeat. The nurse will also check your oxygen. You might hear this called pulse ox. The nurse will check this a few times while you are here for surgery. Sometimes it looks like a little bed for your finger with something soft for your finger to rest in and sometimes it is a sticker that goes on your finger like a band-aid. The nurse will also check your blood pressure. This will give your arm a little hug. You will 